EA have released Eredivisie squad foundations already. The standard edition isn't even out by releasing these objectives, these player SBCs. There's a 3000 FIFA point pack and the ultimate edition has been out not even four days. To me, that is ridiculous. But nonetheless, lads, we've got some Eredivisie squad foundations. We're going to run through them. I'll tell you guys how to complete them. They seem to be in squad battles, which is good. We'll go ahead, do what you have to do for the squad builder, so on and so forth. Without further ado, into the video first of all you've got assist five goals in squad battles on at least semi-pro difficulty or you can do it in division rivals if you wish with an eredivisie player now an eredivisie player is the dutch league the ned1 in brackets all right i know there will be some confusion with that one score 10 goals in squad battles on at least semi-pro or rivals with an eredivisie player so you need to try to get some goals and assists with eredivisie players play 10 matches whilst having at least two players from the eredivisie in your starting 11 and win six matches whilst having at least two players from the eredivisie in your starting 11 so it seems pretty easy you have to play 10 within those 10 you want to try to get six wins and you'll obviously want to get the goals and assists now you can do it on semi-pro in squad battles or rivals what i would recommend doing is trying to get the 10 goals and five assists in squad battles okay so you could probably get this done in one squad battles game if you're good enough play a poor team semi-pro difficulty get 10 goals five assists then what you'll want to do with the play 10 matches and the win six you can start the match with two players from the era of busy and you're starting 11 in division rivals or you can still do it in squad battles if you want pause it straight away and sub those two players off for your better two players and it would just be like playing 10 and trying to win six matches with your normal team so first of all you want to head on over to your club and you want to get eredivisie players so search your club preferably you want to get an attacker in there to get those goals and assists to start with where is the eredivisie league is a better question it is right here i was hovering right over it but you need to get goals and assists okay so what i would personally do you need at least two eredivisie players in your starting lineup i'll just go for a goalkeeper that's completely fine so this is what i'd personally do and i won't even cut the video it's that simple uninstall i'll go ahead put in net uh burger i'll go ahead and i'll start over uh in kunku can he play as a striker actually no he can't play as a striker but we'll just have to keep him here all right because we want to get the goals with him we're then going to put the player that we, we replaced him with onto our bench now what we'll do is we'll go ahead we will head on over to the play tab and we will head on over to squad battles after going on to squad battles we are going to want to find the worst team possible 66 rated 12 chemistry easy so we'll go ahead we will select semi-pro difficulty within this game we are going to try to get 10 goals and five assists with our eredivisie players we've only got two and one of them's a goalkeeper so really you just want to focus around a burghouse however you pronounce it we want to try to get 10 goals and five assists with this man right here burghouse burgoys however you pronounce them okay 10 goals five assists with him then what you can do is that 10 goals will be a tick five assists will be a tick and assuming you obviously win it you'll just be left with nine matches to play with at least two eredivisie players in your squad and five matches to win with at least two eredivisie players in your squad so then what you can do is you can go ahead go into a rivals game or you could play more squad battles if you want to play squad battles and as soon as you get into the game you're going to pause the game and you're going to sub on your players that you were your original starters so it's like nothing ever happened all right but let's say we went into a rivals game we're not actually going to go into a game because you would have to play the whole thing but we'll go into a game let's pretend we pause it straight away we'll go ahead we'll sub a burghouse out and we can sub our goalkeeper out as well boom we can play the rest of the match if we win it will still count towards the objectives as long as they're in your starting 11 when you go into the match and just like that lads you just really have to play one squad battles game the remaining nine games will just feel like you're normally playing rivals or squad battles and you'll get some nice eredivisie cards for it if you guys have any questions obviously feel free to let me know not that there should be many questions about this objective because it's pretty straightforward if you guys did enjoy or this did help you out maybe you didn't know that you could sub them off straight away and it would still count then make sure to drop a like subscribe it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out